anthem of the millions of Jews in the ghettos and in the concentration camps all over Europe. During the Holocaust and the Second World War, where my own great-grandparents great also were murdered. I thought that it's time to translate this Yiddish song to Arabic. Harik, ya ikhwan harik, biladuna hurikat kulaha, wadukhanuha al-aswad ya'lu, wa yasuduha lahab al-kharab, آثارها لم تبقى إنها تحترق وأنتو مكتفو الأيدي دون أن تمد يد العون وأن تطفه لاب النار النار التي بالبلاد. This song, to those of you who don't understand Arabic, is a shout. It says, "My town is burning. The town is burning." And you stand still. You stand still and watch, embracing hands, and don't help. Please, please help us stop the fire. Palestine, hura hura. Boycott Israel. Palestine, hura hura. Boycott Israel. Boycott Israel. What happened to my own people in the Holocaust happened because the world was silent. This is the exact reason that today I cannot be silent anymore. Until almost 20 years ago, I was still a member of a terror organization that called itself the IDF. I was a rescue helicopter pilot in the Israeli apartheid forces, but during the second intifada, seeing what happened around me, I finally opened my eyes. I opened my eyes and realized that I was fighting for the wrong side. I didn't want to find just solution for myself and leave, so I organized other 27 Air Force pilots, and together we publicly declared our refusal to continue to obey these criminal orders. I refuse to be part of the ongoing oppression of millions of Palestinians. Today I'm here with you in solidarity with the Palestinian people, with the Palestinian struggle for liberation, the struggle against the occupation, the apartheid, and yes, the struggle for the right of return. <laughs> Palestine, hura hura! <laughs> Boycott Israel! <laughs> Palestine, hura hura! <laughs> Boycott Israel! <laughs> As a Jew, and as an Israeli, it's really important for me to stand here and tell you the following things. It's not anti-Semitism to support freedom and liberation. It is not anti-Semitism to be against ethnic cleansing and genocide. It is not anti-Semitism to support equal rights from the river to the sea. And no, it's not anti-Semitism to support boycott, divestment, and sanctions. It is anti-Zionism. And I am not alone. Around the world, there are hundreds and thousands, hundreds of thousands of other Jewish people that are the same like you and like me, supporting the Palestinian struggle. Palestine, hura hura! Boycott Israel! 
פלסטין הורה הורה. בויקוט ישראל. I refuse to obey these orders and I refuse to take part in the ongoing crimes. Today I'm standing here in front of the Stuting to demand that the Norwegian government will also stop participating in this crime and stop sending weapons to Israel. You know, in Norway, one hand is giving the peace prize, but the other hand, at the same time, is sending weapon of mass destruction to Israel. This hypocrisy has to stop. And this is us that has to demand that from the Norwegian government. Weapon companies like Kongsberg, Kemring Nobel, and Namo, Nordic Ammunition, partially owned by the state of Norway, are making huge profit from the blood of Palestinian children. Look at all these beautiful parks around us, all the beautiful green trees and flowers, the free libraries, the museums here, some of the money that goes to this comes from the Norwegian arms and death industry and we have to stop it. Palestine, hurra hurra! Boycott Israel! Palestine, hurra hurra! Boycott Israel! There are 106 arm manufacturing companies in Norway. Some of them have the loopholes and subsidiary foreign companies outside of Norway through which they sell the weapon to Israel. I think that it's about time that we will block the entrance to these death factories. Palestine, hurra hurra! Boycott Israel! I'm calling all people here and all people around the world. It's time to choose which side are you on. On the side of oppression, on the side of ethnic cleansing, on the side of F-35 bombers, Apache helicopters, Hellfire missiles, tanks and drones, or on the side of the March of Return, the side of kites and balloons, and some stones, and yes, some homemade rockets, a desperate tool against an apartheid superpower armed with nuclear weapons. I choose to stand on the side of a Gaza ghetto. I choose to stand with Palestine. Before, before I end my words, I want you to know that I don't want anyone to be harmed. Everything I do, everything I say, is out of love to people, out of my love to humanity, to everyone on this planet. As I'm speaking here with you, my own family is also in the shelter. But we cannot expect to be safe when our own government, the Israeli government, continue to commit acts of genocide. It's time to take sides. It's time to dream of a better future while taking direct actions. It's time to shout. Palestine, hurra, hurra! Boycott Israel! Palestine, hurra, hurra! Boycott Israel! Boycott Israel.